happy 2023. Hard to believe it is a new year already. So in this new year, it's kind of like late last year into this year, I got stupidly into Twisted Wonderland. So if you play Twisted Wonderland or if you've heard about it, you probably know there is no sane way to be a part of this and it will consume your lives. It has consumed mine. And so I bought a cosplay like, I wanna say two to three weeks after I started playing. Don't even talk to me about it. <laughs> anyway, so what I ended up getting was their ceremonial robes because that is something that all the characters wear. So I could do multiple characters if I wanted to. Um, and I ultimately ended up deciding to do a Pell. Not really important for this video who it is, um, but I just want to put on the wig. That way you'll know who it is. So I got the ceremonial robes from Doki Doki Cosplay. Um, it is their rare quality, which does tend to be a little bit quicker than their SR quality. Um, I got it in, I actually got it in a bigger size than I normally do because the two reviews that were on there both said it runs small. So I ended up getting, I think it was their, hold on, I have it right here, uh, double XL. Um, normally I would just get the XL, that's the size that most of my other Doki Dokis are, but again, a lot of people said that it runs small, so I thought I'd be precautious about it. So yeah, let's just start opening it all up. So starting off here, you can see my spooky little hood. Here's the inside with all the little keys. I've actually been drawing um, all the Twisted Boys currently, um, and making these keys on it was a pain. And it still is a pain because I'm not done with it yet. Here it is. For a rare quality, this has really nice fabric. Here's the sleeves with the design on them. Everything looks really nice. There's a Doki Doki tag on here. So, you know, you, I guess, got from the right place. It looks really nice. More of the designs here. Um, yeah, <laughs> I was trying to think if there was something I could say. As of right now, this looks great. Um, and it's got me more excited to see what all else is involved here. So following the like top hood thing, there's the butt cape they have. There it is. It's got the uh, same fabric pretty much on the inside. The outside is a little bit different than the fabric that's on the outside of the top, um, but they look the same. They just feel a little different. Now, the only thing kind of holding this together is this one Velcro piece. Um, good thing about Velcro is you can kind of make it bigger or smaller depending on what you need. The bad thing about Velcro is it's not as secure as maybe a button would be. Um, but there's the butt cape. Next up are these funky little pants. So they are very stretchy as you can see. Um, here they are. I mean, if I had to describe like how they feel, they don't feel they don't, they don't feel like pants. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure how to feel about that. Um, I, I'm sure there's a word for what these are. I can't think of them. They don't feel like leggings. They don't feel like pants. I don't know, but I mean, here they are. I, I think they'll be fine, um, but worst case, like black pants are really easy to get your hands on. So it is pretty easily replaceable if they suck. <laughs> I normally go ahead and take these things out of the bag, but I just wanted to show you that this, uh, the undershirt actually came in like a cute little bag. It's got the uh, size on there. Um, I just thought that was really cute and the way they have it all folded uh, to make sure it doesn't get all wrinkled and stuff. I thought that was very nice. Here is the actual undershirt. So this feels like the same material that the pants are made out of. Um, the buttons look like they're hanging on for dear life. They're trying their best. Um, when they're actually buttoned in, they look a little bit better, but when they're unbuttoned, they're just flopping around everywhere. Uh, more of that gold detailing there. You won't see most of this shirt outside of this gold detailing, so I'm not too worried about like how the bottom of it looks and things like that. Um, 
but yeah overall here it is it does not look like this shirt has any give to it unlike the pants um which can always be a problem if you have a bigger chest all right and then rounding it out there's the things that go along the waist so here is the purple band um just a velcro thing here um, this is not super well made. You can see there's a ton of loose threads around here. Um, no kind of give to it other than what you can just get out of the elastic. Uh, it's okay. I mean, this is, this is more what I expect from a rare quality. The other stuff is actually pretty nice. This is kind of what I more expect to see. Um, but it's going to get the job done and it matches the purple on the inside. So I think that's important. And then there is this so review said that this does not stay on at all um, and i can see why it is really hefty um and the only thing holding it on are these two safety pins here on the back so it looks pretty nice um and maybe i'll have a different experience than the people who have already written the reviews but i did see in the reviews that both people said that this does not stay on for the life of them um, so we shall see. I'm not usually a really big fan of safety pins. They tend to scratch and fray at the fabric and they break and this is really heavy, but I also at the same time can't think of with this particular one, a better way of going about it. So unless I decide to make my own version of this, I'll probably just stick with the safety pins. I mean, depending on how bad they are. But uh, yeah, so that actually has everything. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on um, and we shall see how everything turns out together. I'm hoping it all looks good and fits and I doubt you will see the last of Twisted Wonderland from me. <laughs> on i like it a lot actually um maybe it's just my i'm so excited about twisted wonderland brain oh, i'm sorry about my band-aids everywhere uh i scratched up like here on my nails and a lot of them i'm not like bruised and beaten <laughs> no it was my sister Allie. she did it <laughs> she's standing right there <laughs> excuse you <laughs> anyway, um, so yes, let me just start from the top and work my way down. So um, just so you know, the wig is just like an Amazon wig. I actually got it for Christmas um, because I just became Twisted Wonderland. Like, that's my little personality now. So I got this for Christmas um, just off of Amazon. It's pretty much out of the bag. I gave a little bit of like a foof into it, but otherwise out of the bag. Um, so working my way down. This shirt is probably my least favorite part. The buttons are really, really hard to button. It was like they made the hole like this big and the button this big. So the exact same size. And so you really gotta force feed it into there. Um, luckily I was able to do it with help, but still, oh my God, it took me probably 20 minutes, which it should not take me 20 minutes to just put on one part of this cosplay, but it did. Uh, the cloak thing, this part, is cool um i like it a lot it kind of um folds a little bit here like it's not perfect the way it sits and i am a member of Pame figure so i have to make sure that it's perfect so i'm like constantly like but at a con that might be hard to keep an eye out on for um i don't have a bill with me uh i actually geek out a little bit i have i'm uh, planning to do a visit momocon and i hope to have a public photo shoot so if you're going and you're possibly interested be there but uh, my particular group we're going to be me rugs bugugs I, I don't have any cool reveals but i'll also have um media and a tray so i'm really excited for that because i'm just so into it anyway back to the review um oh right the this shirt also comes with with these and um 
which is probably good because if I move, they'll want to be like way up here. So it does keep it, but then it's kind of obnoxious on my hand. Um, like I can constantly feel it existing, <laughs> which if you have sensory issues can be like really overwhelming. Um, this has not fallen off of me so far, this little middle part. It's kind of difficult to get on, especially if you're wanting to get it on like straight, um, but it is on there. Uh, it didn't take me too long to get it on. This little waist thing seems to be doing okay. At first we were a little worried because it was making all kinds of like noises, but then it got over itself. So, so now it's fine. Um, the pants are also fine. I'm glad I went with the size that I did because everything fits really nicely. Um, so I would suggest, you know, really looking at the measurements and maybe if you're like on the baseline, go to the bigger one. Um, if you're not on the baseline, stick with the regular size. If you are like, oh, I fit in perfect with the regular size, stick with that. But if you're looking at it and you're like, technically I am like a size large, but I'm on the end of the size large, I would just get the extra large um, just to make sure that everything fits the way that it's supposed to. Um, especially because the pants, they're, they're not tight or anything, but on the thighs, they are a little bit tighter. Like if I sit down, they kind of like, um, cinch around my thighs a little bit. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the cosplay part. Now for like the, the other parts, um, I just got ooooified wearing this little, I'm taking it back off. I'm not baby. I am baby. Um, so I actually got this on a pre-order. So, uh, rare pre-orders tend to only be a couple months and that was pretty much my experience. Um, I ordered it in, uh, December and the pre-order batch was to come out in January, which it did. Now I will say my sister and I ordered ours at the exact same time and they shipped separate by a day and then they arrived at the exact same day. So I don't know what that was about, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh, so shipping was actually not bad at all. Uh, uh, definitely an overall pleasant experience. Honestly, from start to finish, this has been pretty pleasant. Um, I also have, this is not from uh, Doki Doki directly, but they have basically the exact same thing on there. I got this off of AliExpress. This is the little wand. I haven't quite figured out how to have it just dangling there yet, um, but you can see here, it is an actual pen. You can bring it out. I'm not going to, but there it is. Looks so cool. Anyway, um, but like I said, Doki Doki is pretty much the exact same thing on uh, their site, but the AliExpress one was a little bit cheaper, and I am all about saving costs. So, uh, yeah. Um, all of that to say, rambling, ranting, all that, uh, I think I give this cosplay oh um an 8.5 out of 10 it gets points off because i really didn't like the shirt and i wish they could come up with something a little bit better for this uh but ultimately it's just so it's 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 pretty much everything that i wanted i for my own personal reasons because these are supposed to be like really beautiful impressive garments i am probably gonna add like gold trim and uh, maybe some bedazzling to it just to make it really pop i think but you can totally get away with just this it looks exactly like how you're wanting it to it's also fairly breathable now i could just be saying that because it's cold right now so maybe i just don't notice the heat wearing this as much um but it does feel pretty breathable. Uh, Momocon is in May, so it is in, in Georgia, so it can get pretty hot. So I think even the most breathable will probably get pretty warm depending on the convention you're wearing it to, but either way, yeah, I, I'm very happy with this purchase. I am excited to possibly wear it for other Twisted Wonderlands, although all my ideas so far are like other outfits. Um, like one I can talk about is um, Halloween Appel, which you're thinking, doesn't that outfit look like your grandma's wallpaper? It does, but I'll have a whole Palme Fiore group. So who's really winning? Nobody. <laughs> Either way, uh, yes, so I think that about sums up the review part.
So thank you so very much for the review and watching it and all that good stuff. I know a lot of people are kind of here for Genshin and I promise I do have Genshin coming up-ish, kind of. It's Layla and I got her on a pre-order from Uwowo and her pre-order window is supposed to be like really close to the convention I'm wearing her at. So I'm gonna try to do a review, but if it gets too close to the con, I'm not gonna have time. Um, so that's my next Genshin. Other than that, I'm not, I'm not sure there's like, I've got like Fire Emblem, um, more Twisted. I don't know, uh, but I'm trying to get from multiple different shops. So I am trying a couple new shops. Um, these include uh, Biner and FM Anime. So I am excited to hopefully give you guys an idea for a couple other shops. Uh, and let me know what conventions you're going to in the year 2023. Uh, mine are Comic Con, which I will have already been at by the time this video comes out more than likely. Uh, MomoCon, Colossal Con, uh, Anime Weekend Atlanta, and then hopefully Hall Map, but that's really dependent on if I get a hotel or not. Um, but those are the ones that I'm kind of hoping and planning on. And let me know if you're gonna be at one because I would love to meet up, especially if we are cosplaying from the same thing. I always post my lineups uh, plenty in advance on Instagram. Uh, princess pudding cos, princess dot pudding dot cos. Yeah, you know, it's in the description down below. Uh, so yeah, thank you again so much for watching. I really enjoyed this and I hope we have a wonderful 2023 together. Bye-bye.